just my people welcome back to live pot tv show you know his excellency peter b once said that um that if a, if you want an excellent governance that the way and manner that you used to get to that position must be an excellent way you know let's let's see you know if you look at this um um bola metunubu's um administra administration you will know that this administration is a very very selfish administration um very very wicked administration and very it's not even you know I, i've once said it that it's not having the mind of the people in him how will you send people your people that are suffering there is poverty in the land and you are trying to go and invade another people's land you are suffering the people that you are in, in, in your home country are suffering and you are trying to go and invade another people's country is that how a president does my people stay connected at the very end of this video i'll be back see you soon it's happening in the street again the center of political news celebrity gossip religious gossip and happiness in the society join us the voice of africa hello my great and wonderful viewers welcome you back to the Pot tv show if you are new to this show don't forget to click the subscribe button the like button the bell beside it and also drop your comments in the comment section about what is going on in nigeria and what is going on around us so that youtube will notify anytime we drop any other video into the channel i want to say kudos to the obedient family worldwide we worked so hard to make this movement this strong in few months and we are still working to ensure that we recover our mandates look at your screen what do you see you see stickers of all eyes on the judiciary you did see amba stickers everywhere to tell you that people have already hit the streets to create this awareness and to put pressure on the judges to do the right thing look at this this is a kekena pep in kaduna carrying the sticker you they see amba and now a group has come out to further urge nigerian youths they said wake up nigerian youths and reject the illegitimate government of tinubu and take your country back Look at how they said it. Today, the battle for the redemption of our democracy has moved to the temple of justice. Can Nigeria judiciary stand up to the occasion and save our democracy? This is the reason we are gathered here today to urge our judiciary not just to redeem their image, but to save our democracy and write their names in the gold plate of history to resist all forms of intimidation from every quarter and deliver justice to the people of Nigeria. It is no longer a hidden fact that outside the manipulations and distortion of the February 25, 2023 election results that brought him to power, there were other weighty controversial issues about the person of Bola Ahmed Tinubu that squarely disqualified him and made him ineligible to be fielded as a presidential candidate at an issue. Amongst were the forfeiture of money to the U.S. government some years ago, fielding a fake degree to the Nigerian electoral body, lie about dual nationality on the prescribed election form, which constitute forgery. Added to this was the non-achievement of 25% votes in the FCT as stated in the Nigerian electoral extant laws. It is therefore not surprising to every reasonable thinker and analyst that this government is built on illegality and cannot stand. The actual test of law and will be extremely difficult to win the people's confidence. This is the reason the coup d'etat in Niger Republic and, and the junta will readily dismiss any statement from the Nigerian government and indeed ECOWAS has nothing and of no effect. This is an apt demonstration of the level of unacceptance this administration has subjected itself by her desperation for power. If the judiciary is muzzled down by corrupt forces that are very desperate for power, then Nigeria is doomed to eventual collapse. But if the judiciary is able to hold sway and live up to its billings at this most auspicious time, Nigeria
Nigeria certainly will be restored to our enviable position in the Commonwealth of Nations. Whichever the fate of Nigeria now rests on the willingness of Nigerians to press harder for sanctity of our constitution and electoral laws and say no to injustice. Let's take back our country, wake up Nigerian youths, and reject the illegitimate INEC selected president. Bola Ahmed Tinubu must be disqualified. Thank you and God bless you. You heard him. Clearly, this cannot be business as usual because the people are angry as a result of the poverty, hunger, unemployment, hopelessness that has been dealt them by the APC government. And I must say that the youths are responding very well in terms of mounting of pressure because at this stage that we are, now stage of mounting pressure be this. Look at this mighty billboard erected in Abuja, yes, in the federal capital territory where all the big men as then they pass the good siam all eyes on the judiciary and we have other ones in other parts too look at this one we have it in worry we have one in uh Edo state you saw it the other day and in so many other places our elites are beginning to feel that the people are ready to confront them siam you did see amba uh -huh. That is a symbol of the people of Nigeria, especially the young people, saying enough is enough of hunger, of unemployment, of poverty, of hopelessness, and of pain. Now, in other news, Nigerian senators have come out to attack the Senate president, Godzilla Pabio, for the mistake he made yesterday. They said that mistake has exposed them to the Nigerian people for criticisms. They now said ministerial nominees bribed them with one billion naira and that Akpabio took the largest share that it took hundreds of millions that they just got crumbs. That the small one now, where they won't come give them, may they go use them for holiday. Akpabio still came out and exposed them in public. So, ministerial nominees had to bribe to be cleared. Why wouldn't they when they are all corrupt ex governors, people who have cases with EFCC and no people who have served before in public offices and they abused it? Now, them fool the list of nomination. And that's why we are saying we have to throw these people out because these people don't mean well for Nigeria. The senators, so the executives, so all of them are just out to cripple this country from fake results to cases of corruption and all. None of them is clean. And I felt so pained and it made me to dig out this video. One of the most honest political videos I've ever seen in my life. Top three. Check out this video. Honorable Speaker, I think looking at the Honorable Minister's statement and looking at the budget, I think that our government does not love this country. They do not have the feeling to nurture our children in this country. Honorable Speaker, six billion dollars in salaries alone, not in administrative cost. Honorable Speaker, and we say we are a poor country. Honorable Speaker, the median age in this country is 19 years old. We should consider the life and the livelihood of our children. We should be investing in education. We should be investing in health, rather than paying ourselves, feeding ourselves, out of the poor people of this country. I will start with this August Assembly, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, to see the salary of the Honorable Speaker increased from 658 million to one to 658 thousand to one million five hundred and sixty. I feel ashamed to call myself an honorable member, honorable speaker. I gave myself for service. I did not give myself for the poor people to feed me and my family, honorable speaker. When I saw this, I felt embarrassed. I did not want to come to this budget session because I said to myself, there is no need 
because we are just sharing the cake in our pockets, going home, feeding ourselves. Not only that, but to see the responsibility allowance, the residential allowance, the road. You heard her. That was Honorable Fatumata Tauma Njai from the Gambia another african country that has been plagued by this pandemic of corruption so this thing it be like say they use corruption take swear for africa i watched this video i almost cried when are we going to have one honest lawmaker like this in this country when and that is why we are calling for his excellency peter obi the man who will spearhead that revolution we go make this country better and we are saying all eyes on the judiciary all eyes on the judiciary there is a case before you and we are not begging you for favor we are saying you should pass judgment according to the dictates of the constitution and of the electoral law and we eagerly wait for the day we will go do them for the sake of those of us we did this country now and for the sake of the children yet unborn you just want people tell first thing connected at the very end of this video you know i don't see what they talk like this you know when i said it that these people these uh, politicians this uh um apc administration they don't care about you a lot of people are coming out and saying that we should not be only supporting our uh, 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 um peter obi that we should be saying the truth this is the truth apc administration don't even cares about the masses see with the money that the senator the senators see what they would see what they were bribed with see the ministerial list every every single person there were are criminals every single person and you are not saying that we should not say the truth this is the truth this people they don't care about or all what they want but uh, um, but all what he want is his own benefit is what is and going to enjoy you can see what this this woman said see what this woman said she totally exposed what is happening in africa I, I, now I now I know the reason why military mil, military government say they they need a coup in the Niger in the Niger Republic. It is it this is wrong. I asked one question. I asked one question um uh, like um a month ago that is democracy really the answer of Africa or of Nigeria? Nobody. Some people never reply reply, reply the question because what i've seen now is that democracy has failed us in all ways it has failed us in all instance not only in nigeria in in africa in the whole africa it is going it is roaming around in the whole africa and it has failed us in africa my people see they, they obedient out there i know i know that people are people are saying that all eyes on the judiciary all eyes on the judiciary same year i'm also shouting all eyes on the judiciary because we want the right thing we want the right thing to be done but let's say the truth ourselves is this democracy the right thing for our country though i know that i'm very very sure that our uh, peter obi is going to do the right thing is going to change this country but he, the next person that is going to come after peter obi is he going to continue where peter obi stops Maybe people are mean as they connected the live positive show for any entertainment and anything that is going on in nigeria any news about policies and about religious so, and if you have not clicked the subscribe button click the subscribe button the like button the bell beside it and drop a comment in the comment section see you in my next video god bless you god bless nigeria Thank you for staying connected and like what TV show. Leave the message up and leave the letters on your chat you. So all we do on this channel is to bring to you a pretty course the man of God in America and outside America from the thousand of Jimmy Greg and Chris Mars to my Disney and the Bullock and Flame and all of that. So we'll tell you with some value that where I come from them and also their profession as well. And guess what? Many of these promises are really, really coming through. So just make sure you subscribe to this channel just to get more of the promises if you are saying. Guess what? See you in the next video.